Hey guys, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, so if you haven't already seen Nice Hash vs. Nanopool comparison video, go ahead and click on that link above and you can actually check out the first video because if you, if you haven't seen that one yet, this is probably going to be kind of confusing for y'all. But anyways guys, this is part two of my mining video. The first one I was comparing Nice Hash vs. Nanopool, but the comparison time was a little um, different. For Nice Hash I only used six hours and for Nanopool I used a day. So what I'm doing this time around is I actually ran Nice Hatch for a whole seven days straight, so a whole week straight. And um, I'm going to show you what I made off of that on the screen behind me in a little bit. And then um, I'm going to also run Nanopool uh, for a whole week straight. And then I'll show you which one is the big winner. A lot of times when people do compare uh, a different type of mining software, it's only a short period of time. Even if it's a day, that's not the best comparison. You want to do a long-term video because with those mining fees, you actually see a big difference. Um, and I'll show you the difference between Nice Hash and Nanopole and their fees also. Um, and again, if you are a beginner, I do recommend using Nice Hash. It's a lot easier to get into. It's kind of like a click and play type of setup. You know, all of them have a different type of setup. You have to go into the configuration files and mess around with those. But again, I will do some videos on that so you can actually get kind of a little, a little uh, intro to how to mine different type of coins on your own. Again, if you just want to mine for Bitcoin, Nice Hash is the way to go. You're not really mining for Bitcoin, but they pay out in Bitcoin compared to if you use Nanopole, and let's say you, you mine for Ethereum, or you mine for the coin itself. Or if you mine for Zcash, you mine for the coin itself. Um, and the coin I like to mine for is actually Zcash. Uh, with my NVIDIA cards, especially my 1066 gig cards, they run pretty bad at Ethereum, and they make a little bit more profit off of Zcash. So we're going to be running Zcash uh, for a whole week straight, and we'll go to see how much we can make compared to running NiceHash. Anyways, guys, so I'm going to go pull up my screen behind me, and we'll go to check out how much I made on uh, NiceHash for a week. Okay, guys, so I have a uh, NiceHash pulled up over here on my bigger miner. Um, this is my six GPU mining rig, and. Normally, I was making about $5. It looks like the algorithm was just changed on NiceHash. Um, and so I'm going to write this number down right here just because that's the current amount that this mining machine made because I let it mine until 11.30 Central Time. That's the same amount of time I'm going to let the Nanopool one run. So I'm going to go ahead and write this number down because I'm not going to be able to get paid out um, with NiceHash. So NiceHash pays you out at 0 0.001, which is, uh, again, on today's market, um, I think $6. I'll look at that again uh, once I pull up the uh, Bitcoin uh, calculator. But um, So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop on this one, and everything goes off right there. I'm going to go ahead and close this off. And now I'm going to go ahead and exit off my... my um, and even if you, uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit off of that one, and I'm going to pull up my other desktop, connect to that one. So this one's not running with um, the same, uh, let me go, let's see. Yeah, so it's not connecting, so give me one second, guys. Let me go ahead and connect. Okay, guys, so I wasn't able to get the uh, team viewer to work on this one, and I don't feel like restarting it, um, probably because the nice uh, team viewer got an update. But right here, this one is making $2.51 a day off three uh, 1060 six gigs. So um, I just wanted to show you how much this one would make. So let's go ahead and also stop this one. And let's go ahead and let it take a break. See, I don't know why that's not working. Um, I wonder why that's popping up. Anyways, um, so we'll go ahead and pull back up the comparison and we'll take a look at everything, guys. So I have the spreadsheet pulled up right here. So we have NiceHash right here versus Nanopole EWBF Zcash Miner. Um, so both of them both have the 2% mining fees, uh, pull fees. And then you have the Bitcoin made right here from NiceHash. And this is a seven day uh, comparison. So I haven't done a Nanopole, I'll be next week. But as you see right here, I made 0 0.00533631. And let's look up what that is on today's market. So that's $55.36 with Bitcoin being $8,500.08. That's pretty bad, guys. I'm running an eight card. I'm running one six card mining rig and one three card mining rig for a total of eight cards. 
And my two highest cards are the 1070 Ti, then I have a 1070, then I have a couple 1066 gigs, and then one uh, 970 super clocked edition. So I should be making a lot more than that. Um, but if you look at it from here, NiceHash has a zero um, transfer free to, to Coinbase, which is cool. Since I'm in the U.S., I use Coinbase to transfer my Bitcoin to USD. Um, so that's kind of cool. But will it make a difference? So, guys, um, what we're going to be doing in the next week is actually putting Nanopool on. We're going to run EWBF Zcash Miner. And we're going to look at the differences next uh, Sunday at 12. Uh, so the current time is 12.30. So we'll probably start it at 1 to make it a whole 7 days. Anyways, guys, um, just stay tuned for that video, which will be coming up in a week. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. And always remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Awesome. I'll see you soon. This is Ghost Bit Miner, and I'll see you in the next video.